attempt to adjust your computer screens because we are in there. Hey folks, my name is Steve Prince and I'm the director of engagement at the Muscarelli Museum at William and Mary. Hey, I got something for y'all. I got a workshop line for y'all. This is the first annual Muscarelli in the house virtual art camp, baby. So we're going to do a virtual art camp, guys, every Wednesday and Friday. So y'all got to come here ready to do this thing, ready to get down, ready to have fun, and ready to get live. Because I got workshops that's going to make your eyeballs swell, that's going to make your knees shake, that's going to make your heart palpitate. Uh, oh, oh, all right, all right. I, I might be exaggerating just a little bit, but nonetheless, you're going to have some fun. All right? So what I got to do is I got to make sure y'all get make sure y'all in the right mindset. So I need y'all to make some noise. Somebody scream. Oh, I can't hear y'all. Come on, no, y'all gotta scream. Come on, make some noise. All right, all right, all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a little loud there. Come on, calm down. Because I don't want y'all going in the back telling your dad, oh, mama, daddy, this man came on the screen. He told us to scream. And I just thought what he said. Y'all got your own mind? Don't be sitting there making all that noise up in the house. Come on now. What's up with y'all? All right? Come on, y'all. Let's have some fun. All right, so here we go. What I got here lined up for us today is that we're going to need some basic materials in order to do this workshop. So you're going to need a pencil. A number two are softer. So that means you need a pencil like a number one or ebony pencil or 6B or 4B. If you know anything about those pencils, ask your mom and daddy about it. They'll tell you about it. Go to the art store. you find all about those different kinds of pencils. they got all kinds of different kinds of pencils out there. There's all kinds of pencils from all right around the world. That's what I'm talking about. So the next thing we're going to do is get some paper. Get some paper. Come on, find some paper around the house. You can draw on anything. Get a napkin, get a paper towel, get something. Come on, y'all, get some paper. Come on, work with me, work with me. And then you need an eraser. Now, the eraser is not for making mistakes. The eraser is just adjusting the piece and making it go along. Don't be sitting there, oh, this stuff, I don't like it, it's ugly. Don't do all that stuff, I don't need all that. Come on, y'all, let's have some fun. This is the virtual, what is this? I told y'all, it's the virtual art camp, baby. All right, here we go. So let me get some, some materials together. What we need, we're gonna need a big piece of paper to work with. And I got something for us we're gonna do today. We're gonna make one of your favorite characters. I know it's gotta be one of your favorite characters. It's one of my favorite characters too. So y'all ready? So you gonna follow along step by step. I'm gonna show you. So draw very lightly. I'm gonna draw a little dark because I'm gonna use a marker. And then when I use this marker, I'm gonna actually make this thing work on here, all right? So here we go. Get your hands ready. Get your body ready. Clear your throat. Me, 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 me. Um, it's not a singing class. It's an art class. Come on, y'all. All right, here we go. So here we go. We get over here, and you're going to take your pen and your pencil, and you're going to make a nice light mark like so. Boom, just like that. Some of you probably already know what I'm going to draw. Then pull it across like that, and then pull it down like that, and then pull it across like that. Oh, don't you feel it? That's the first shape that you got to lay out there. Look, oh, it seems like a cool, look how cool that shape is. All right, so we're gonna drop this side down, boom, just like that. And then we're gonna take this shape over here and we're gonna pull this one up just like that. And then we're gonna connect that line, shoom, right on around, just like that. Oh, y'all feel me? Y'all feel me? Come on, y'all keeping up? All right, I'm gonna slow down a little. Pull the line down here, draw it across. All right, speed it up. Pull it down just like that. Pull it across like this and drop it on up. Boom, you got the line working out the basic bottom half of the shape. All right, come on. Are y'all with me? Come on now, work with me now. I got, I'm, I got all day. I got, you know, time is money, folks. Come on, come on. Let's draw, draw, draw. All right, here we go. So the next step we need to do is we're going to make some other little basic lines just to kind of get some things lined up. So you're going to put a line right here, bam. And you're going to put another line right here, bam. And then you're gonna put another line to come out of here like this, and you're gonna wrap it on up like that, and you're gonna pull another little line and drop it straight down just like that. All right, everybody got it? Come on now, follow along. All right, here we go, here we go. Now we're gonna work up into this portion right here. We're gonna to begin to build the facial structure right onto the surface of this thing. So you're gonna pull one kind of circle, wrap it around, just like that, moo ha ha. And you're gonna pull two circles around. Two circles, one circle, two circles. Oh, we have many circles laid into the place. Are you ready? 
All right, here we go. Pull up. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Pull it around here like this and wrap it around. One and two. You got it. You know what to do. All right, boom. Y'all y'all, know what this is already? I think y'all know. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You got it. I mean, you said you're so smart. You're so bright. You're so brilliant. All right, so here we go. Pull this around here. Now we're going to pull on here. We're going to make a little nose, little character on here like this. And we're going to pull it up. And we're going to wrap it back around. Right, right, right. You gotta make that sound effect in order to make it right. You gotta go, wah, 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 like, just like that. So wrap it around just like that. And then you're gonna create like this, you're gonna create like the mouth, you're gonna create a little angle like that, a little diagonal. And then we're gonna wrap it around, swoosh. Swoosh. You're gonna wrap it up just to here, and then we're gonna drop it down. Drop it like it's hard, drop it like it's hard. You're gonna roll it around just like that, pull it on up. All right, bring that beat back. Shoop, 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 shoop. You want to see it one more time? So pull it around, pull it down, drop it around, zoom, boom. And then we're going to put two teeth on that. Shabang and shabang. All right? All right, boom, boom, boom. Wrap that baby on around just like that. We're going to drop a little tongue inside of here. Whoop and whoop. All right, y'all feel it? Come on, now it's coming together piece by piece. We'll go back, we'd accentuate it, make it a little bit tighter, make it look all nice and crispy, all right? Make it look like there's some KFC. All right, we're gonna get it right. So pull it around just like that and wrap this little piece. You're gonna make like a cheek right over here, just like that, and make a little small little mark like that. Boom, you got it. Now this one here, you made this little circle here, we're gonna make another circle inside of it. Boom, just like that. And make another one inside of there. Make a happy circle inside of the circle. You got it, smile with it. Smile with it, baby. All right, here we go. You remember where you at? Come on, guys. This is the virtual art camp, baby. All right, so pull it around here. Now we're going to put some eyelashes on here. So we're going to go one and two and three. And we're going to go one and two and three. Oh, oh, you feel it? You feel it? Come on, it's coming together. Y'all should feel your masterpieces coming together. I feel so accomplished. All right, so pull it around. And then we're going to grab around the top. We're going to drop around. We're going to roll it around like this. One and two and three and four and five don't get carried away with it just put five of them up there you can put six if you want i'm not gonna get mad at you hey why did you put seven on yours all right i'm not gonna do that all right so here we go pull this around get it across and then you're gonna pull down the side and we're gonna make some little bumpity bumps one and two and three and four and five. We're gonna keep going around. Let's keep this beat going. One and two and three and four. And then we're gonna pull one to the side. And we're gonna drop down the side. And one and two. And then we're gonna pull on side. One and two and three and four. All right, you feel it? Come on, now y'all gotta feel the drawing. It's coming into life. It's coming into being. The hills are alive. All right, so pull it around. Drop it around like this. One and two and three and four. Rest around like that. So we gotta get it all in there. So we got a little bit more. So we wanna make one of the little shoulders. So pull around, it looks like a little teardrop looking thing or a oh, bullet. All right, so pull this around and drop it down all the way around. Drop it down, make two little straight lines just like that. And then to do the hand, don't get all caught up with it. It's not that hard. First start off with like a little circle like that just to get started. You got it? Good. Start off with a little basic circle. And after you get the little basic circle, then you can work out the fingers and work out one, the thumb, and work out the forefinger, one and two and three. So you have four fingers worked out right there. That's typical for cartoons. They tend to make like four fingers. They don't want you to think this is a real person because they don't want you jumping off a building or something like that or something crazy. All right, don't do that. All right, stay on the ground. We were, built, we were born to be on the ground. That's why they got a thing called gravity. What goes up, what happens? Uh, you got it. All right, here we go. So pull it around like this and then you're going to wrap this around. You're going to make another little teardrop looking little thingy with some jig or whatever you want to call it and pull it on up and make that little noodle looking arm go up like this and then create another little circle to be in to build the hand. And then once you build that up there, then you can wrap this baby on around just like that. And then wrap that finger on up in the air. Then make one finger and make another finger. And then wrap it around and then drop it back down. Oh, you saw that? Wasn't that, wasn't that cool? All right, y'all probably want to see that beat again. You want to see that beat again? Bring that beat back. All right, so you're going to wrap it around. This is a circle. This is a circle. And then what you want to do is you want to pull one finger out of the circle. And then you want to draw back and create one more shape and then create another shape. And then when you create that shape, you want to drop it around and then you want to create the thumb covers over that and then wrap it around. And then you can draw the arm. It's really simple. Just really based off basic shapes. You can build anything. All right, let's get into the bottom portion of the body. 
And so we have right here, we got the little pants right here. We got the shirt coming across. I'm going to pull the shirt across and we're going to pull this angle to follow that angle. Pull it up. Wham, wham, bam, boom. All right, and then we're going to put a little part of the shirt, one triangle and two triangles, and then pull a little shape, looks like a little uh, one, two, three, four-sided kind of figure, a little, um, little, uh, little basic shape down at the bottom. Then you're going to pull like another triangle shape down at the bottom like this, and then you're going to wrap this across, and then you're going to pull the little belt piece and one belt piece, and you're going to pull another portion of the belt, and you're going to pull another portion of the belt, and you're going to do one more portion of the belt on the other side. Now it's time to build the pants, the rest of the pants. And here's the bottom part of the pants, one shape and another shape. This shape is repeated from that one. They're very similar. All right? So now, remember, we already got the lines to build for the legs. So drop it straight down, drop it straight down, make it a little thicker. All right, roll it around, roll it around. And then we're going to build the shoes. So one shape and two shape and one shape and two shape. All right, you build it off basic off of circles and then drop the little part for the heel, pull it up, drop it around, and then pull it around and pull it around. And then very quickly, you have a basis of the character. Oh, forgot some socks. Put a little sock, a little tube sock. All right, now it's time to go back and refine and create some darks inside of there. Are you ready to build some darks? All right, so right here, let's go ahead and build the eyelashes nice and dark and black. Ah, oh, yeah, you feel it. Build those in, build those in, build that in, build that in. All right, and then we're going to accentuate this line coming around here. Pull it around. And then we're going to accentuate this line. Pull around. Accentuate means make darker. And then we're going to pull around here, and we're going to pull the little eyeball the portion around here. This part here is the color part of the eye, which is called the iris. And then the little black part of the eye, the little aperture part, is called the pupil. You're going to draw the little pupil in nice and black. Look how beautiful that is. It's like spantaculous. Y'all like, oh my goodness, I didn't know I was such a great artist. Like, mom and daddy, give me more art supplies. Take me to the Muscarelli Museum and have me meet the crazy guy who taught me this. All right, so here we go. So right around here, you roll this around and you're going to build a little cheek and you're going to put three little dots on it. One and two and three. It looks like a little face that's sitting on the side of there. And we're going to actually accentuate that nose, wrap it on around and boom, bam, boom. And we're going to build the mouth, come around here like this and drop it around up into the cheek portion drop it down and around oh keep following that line around don't give up you can do it you can win all right pull it around and pull it on up and then we're going to go ahead and build the tongue some more build that line a little stronger come on y'all feel it come on you gotta feel it you gotta go with the flow people all right and we're going to accentuate these lines some more follow the rhythm follow the rhythm you might be getting seasick when you're doing this line it's okay uh, just eat a little piece of bread, a little hard tack, you'd be good. All right, so pull it around, wrap it around, boom, 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 wrap it on up, and we're going to pull the line around, make it nice and accentuate, follow your line, follow your mark, and enrich it up, and make it sing with harmony, make it sing with love, make it sing with peace, make it sing with happiness, make it sing with joy, and then pull it on around and drop it down, and then blacken that section in, blacken that section in, blacken that section in, blacken that section in, one more time, like in that section in. So pull it right here and then make that line come across, come across, drop it down, drop it down, all around. Now, the beautiful thing about it, you've seen this on video, you're not seeing this live, so you can always slow it down and bring it back if I say say something, say, say, if I say, 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 say something too fast. All right? I messed up, but hey, it's all good. It's a video. So here we go. Pull it around here and then drop it down and drop it down and bring it around and boom, 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 and boom, 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 boom. And then make some tube sides, make a few little marks, drop it down, make some tube sides, make a few little marks coming around. And we got to blacken shoes in, except for one little spot. One little spot. We're going to leave a little bit of light on there. This little light of mine. All right, go pull this around and drop it on around and bring it on down and pull it black and black and drop it right here. Bring it over here and make it nice and black and get it right there and make it more black and make it more black and make it black, black, black. Blink it and blink it, make it blue, blink it black. And drop it around like just like that. And then that's how you're going to make it. And then you're going to pull it around here. You're going to accentuate the hand a little bit more, accentuate the hand a little bit more. Just go back with all your lines, guys. Just make them all nice and dark so you make stuff stand out. You may need to take the eraser and get rid of a few of those little sketch lines that kind of laid it out. You can get rid of some of that stuff. That's all right. Or some of you might like the way those lines look. And then make one little circle here and a small one there. Then make one circle over here. Then make one circle over here. Then make one circle over here. And then make one circle down here. Makes one smaller here. Let's make a little bottom lip coming across there. Let's make one and let's make two and let's make three. And let's make four circles coming across the top. 
And there we have it, folks. I think we have made SpongeBob SquarePants. Wasn't it fun? That's our first of many to come. Oh, I can't wait to see y'all at the next virtual art camp. See you on Friday. And remember, everybody, art is all around you. Muscarillion, da! Hi!